next comes the parasternal views in parasternal views as we have already discussed it is being divided in two parts one is low parasternal views and one is high parasternal views in low parasternal views we have two subdivisions that is parasternal long axis in which the heart is being cut in long axis longitudinally and the other is parasternal short axis in which the heart is being cut cross sectionally in short axis okay so both they do have couple of two or three kind of sweeps the sweep as i told you when we sweep up anterior or backwards posteriorly we will see different structures okay so we we now we see how we do the parasternal long axis view as you can see in this video the probe is being kept at the nipple line nipple line in blue is a low parasternal pointer is pointing at 11 o'clock position that is towards the right shoulder 11 o'clock position in here you will notice the probe orientation marker is now up here not down down it was in a pical four chamber five chamber views in order to make it anatomically correct upright now it is up here okay the heart is being cut cross sectionally longitudinally sorry the heart is being cut longitudinally because it's a parasternal long axis view okay here you will see anterior wall of right ventricle right ventricle cavity interventricular septum left ventricle left atrium mitral valve and this is your aorta and this is your aortic valve that's how the heart is being cut longitudinally like this this is in the heart is in the cavity of the chest pointer is pointing at 11 o'clock position now this person will lie down yes then this is how the how how the heart is lying and the probe ultrasonic waves are cutting the heart like this so this is your aorta l l v l a mitral valve right ventricle rv so this is how the heart is being cut like this the heart is being cut longitudinally and this is how the heart is being brought in front of your screen so that is your parasternal long axis view okay and this we are doing the dopplers of the interventricular septum okay so to look for if there is any vsd so if there is a vsd there will be a defect in this interventricular septum so there will be a blood flow so blood flow suppose this is lv this is rv if the blood is flowing from left side to right from lv to rv it will be towards the probe it is red and if the <clears throat> blood is flowing from rv to lv it will be blue because it will be moving away from the probe so now we will do two sweeps there are two sweep now you see the probe is being swept downwards towards the foot we call it tricuspid valve sweep you start seeing the tricuspid valve okay so that is your tricuspid valve sweep in parasternal long axis view then again we have come to standard plax view parasternal long axis view and now sweep upwards towards the head so what you see you see a vessel coming from upside down at right angle to the aorta with this valve so it divides in two so that is your pulmonary artery so this sweep what it does now you were seeing this aorta it went off you saw a, another vessel coming from upside downward at right angle to that and the aorta is gone so that was pulmonary artery so this sweep basically rules out tga transfusion of great arteries because if they are normal they both are at different planes and they are at right angle to each other so you won't see both the vessels in the same view so now you can see this it was in standard plax view the uh, uh, probe marker what was 11 o'clock now what i have done is i have swept the probe upwards towards the head as you saw in animation you saw this uh, aorta which was there like this it is gone and perpendicular to that another vessel which divides in right this is right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery comes from above downwards so that one it rules out tga and you can see the doppler you can do the doppler of the pulmonary artery in this so this is your pulmonary artery and this you are seeing the dopplers in the pulmonary artery and as very well you can see this is mpa rpa and lpa now this probe is being swept downwards towards the foot so this is your tricuspid valve sweep and you are seeing this tricuspid valve when i put a color in this the red is again from ra to rv is towards the probe is red 
and there is a trickle of blue you can see that is your tr jet that is the blood flow from rv to ra so that is your tricuspid valve 